Hi, I'm Linda from paperboutiquewithlinda.com. Today I'll be talking about Anna Griffin Deco Foil Kit and then I'll show you another foolproof method for foiling. It's so simple. Well, I purchased this kit on HSN for $19.95 and you get five 6x12 foil transfer sheets in green, copper, red, silver, and champagne. You get eight 6x12 sheets of easy cut adhesive, an adhesive pen, and an instruction sheet. And the colors of foil are beautiful. I absolutely love them. I'm going to lay it down and hold it up so you can see the colors. What I did notice, however, there's good news about this kit and there's not so good news. I'm going to bring in an example and zoom in just a little on this. I'm going to slide it off so we can see it a little bit better on the gray. The good news with this kit is that the coverage is wonderful. The foil coverage is wonderful. I've done a number of videos and in using the Make Machine and I haven't got, you know, perfect coverage. With this, you do get perfect coverage, but what you do get, I'm gonna hold this up just a little closer, you get more of a kind of a hammered look to it. So it's not really as smooth as I would like it. I still would recommend the kit, but it just doesn't come across as smooth as I'm, I'm looking for. And let me show you just a little bit about how, how you do this. For what I'm going to concentrate on today is the larger ones so you can see a little bit more of the foiling. And I use this designer die from Cartabella. It's a doily die. And what you'll do is you've got the adhesive paper that it comes with. And the instructions on the kit actually say to go ahead and just die cut this and remove the top and put the foil on top. I'll show you how to do it in just a moment. But I was noticing when Anna Griffin did it on HSN and on her blog, she actually put paper backing behind it. So that's kind of what I did. I went ahead and just lifted, you know, one side of the adhesive up, put it on the paper. So you, it's actually attached to the paper. And then I'm going to run this through the die cut. The other thing I do want to mention before I move on to the foolproof technique is I've tried many different techniques to try to get this a little bit smoother and not as hammered looking. So if any of you out there watching have come up with a way to do it with this kit, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Now before I pause and show you how we do this on the cuddle bug, I want to just take a minute to tell you the, a quick and easy way to get perfect foiling. And it's, it's not even a technique. Let me show you. This is a, what I consider to be a perfect, perfect foiling. There you can see the hammered, and there you can see how smooth and detailed it is. That's the look I'm after, perfect every time. And let me show you some of the cards I made using that same um, technique. There's in a gold, here's in a copper. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. We're in just a little tight for that shot. So you can see all three of them. And here is just some envelope note cards. Well, are you ready for the easiest thing ever? I wish I would have thought of this before. I've tried the mink, I've tried a laminator, and I've tried this kit, and I like this result the best. And I cut this, by the way, using my Cricut. All of my dies were cut using my Sizzix Big Kick machine. And here's the secret. You buy this cardstock stack at Joann's. It's just foiled paper. It's so unbelievably simple, and you just cut it. You can die cut it. I used my Cricut Explore Air, and look at how beautiful. Look at how gorgeous, and you get perfect coverage every time. Now, you won't be able to do all of the techniques using this paper, but for all of the cutouts, this is the easiest way to go. Well, at this point, I'm just going to pause and set up the cuddle bug machine and show you how we actually do get the foil onto the adhesive. Well, I went ahead and set up the cuddle bug. And remember how I put the adhesive onto just a plain piece of cardstock. And then I used my Big Shot and did the die cut. And you can see there's the yellow cardstock, and this, this side is sticky. So I'm just going to peel that off and then I'm going to put the foil face up. Just rub it 
kind of carefully. And my sandwich is, I have the A plate, then I have the green mat, the foam mat, and then the B plate, and then I have the die cut face up with the foil, and then I have a B plate on top. And then what I'm gonna do is just run it through the cuddle bug. And you can see, let me just get this all the way out, and I'll move this over to the other side of my craft room, and we'll zoom in just a little bit on this so you can see. And then I'll take this off, and sometimes you'll wanna use maybe a bone folder on the back of it just to make sure that you've got good coverage if you peel it up and it starts to come off. But let me just peel this and see where we're at. Oh, it's gonna be good. Okay, let me move this out of the way. I think we, there we go. Now you can see it's pretty good. You've got pretty good coverage, but once again, it's got that hammered, kind of hammered look. I'm gonna bring that up a little closer to the camera and then lay them down and you can see the difference. You can see how smooth that is. But I, I think the kit is well worth $19.95 and all of the foil will work with the Mink Machine, at least according to Anna Griffin. So I would like to thank you for watching and for more projects and ideas, please visit my blog, www.paperboutiquewithlinda.com. Bye-bye.